The Hong Kong police issued a statement on October 30th that the Occupy protesters have, quote, deviated from their principles of peace and nonviolence, citing, quote, the illegal occupiers open defiance to the rule of law. Yes, it seems these students now think they can get away with anything. But there's one thing they didn't count on. I'm watching you. Behind me, you can see a sign where the protesters claim to be violence-free. Yet on the other side of this pillar, there's a sign that says nothing is free. Uh, no, not that one. Yes, this is the right one. So the question is, how much are they being paid for their violence? Everywhere I looked, there were signs of violence. Protesters encouraging everyone to be vigilantes. Their secret plot must be to spread peace so they can use it as a weapon and they're ready to battle and fight. It's got average Hong Kongers running scared. So could you just tell me, do you feel safe here? Yeah, I feel very safe. Very safe. Yeah. Mainly because uh, the close eye, the police are keeping on the violent protesters, is that correct? Mainly because the protesters are, are very chilled out, as you can see around here. Um, you see families, babies, very young people. They're even getting the children involved? Uh, I would say that they feel comfortable enough to have the children here. That's why you see so many wandering around. I knew what was happening. Protesters were putting on such a good show of non-violence. This poor guy actually believed it. But I wasn't so easily fooled. I would continue keeping an eye on the protesters. But as the night dragged on, with no open defiance in sight, I almost started to believe it myself. But when I saw this, I knew they must be hiding something. And then it hit me. I was sitting on the answer the whole time. So I noticed there's some pretty heavy construction going on behind us. Uh, could you tell us perhaps uh, what, uh, what they're building? Is it some kind of weapon for the protesters to use? No, actually they're building chairs and tables for students to study in study room. And you could also use these chairs to throw at people, I assume. Wow. For me, I used them to sit, but not throwing anywhere. But you could theoretically throw them. Yes, I could, if I want. <laughs> Bingo. After that, I started seeing weapons everywhere. These guys were armed to the teeth. There you have it, chairs, the secret weapon of the Umbrella Revolution. And you heard it first on China Uncensored. Thank you.